there are times when adding many of the same object would become tedious. And for an example, suppose I was creating walls around my scene. I'm going to go and just find some wall or block. How about block? And I'm going to grab that block and we'll add it to our game. Now the problem with this is that in order to uh, add a wall around our scene, we would have to literally one by one stick these blocks in. And of course, you would probably want to turn on the grid first so that things snap into place a little quicker. But this would become very time consuming very quickly. So another way to do this is to use what's called a tiled object. So let's go and we're going to create a new object from scratch. So notice instead of searching for something, we're going to create a new object from scratch. We're going to we're going to create a tiled sprite. And it's usually a good idea to name your uh, tiled sprites with the word tiled so you remember that they're tiled. So tiled brown block, for instance. And I'm going to select an image and I'm just going to use the brown block and notice that I added a single brown block first because it makes it easy to get the picture from that block. And then I'm going to apply that. And the big advantage here is when I drag this in, then I can click on this and I can resize this and notice that it automatically fills the blocks. Now, I'm not gonna fill in my complete scene because my scene coordinates don't match the dimensions of my block. But that's okay for, for a demonstration. And I can do the same thing. And instead of pulling it across, I can pull it down. And notice once again, my screen dimensions are not a proper multiple of my block dimensions, but we'll let that slide for now. I can also copy and paste. So I could copy this, come over someplace and paste it and notice that it copies it with the original size and then I'm going to add one more down here at the bottom and then drag it in and you can probably guess that this goes way faster than adding in block by block by block and so if you have anything like walls or platforms or things like that uh, using a tiled sprite is usually the way to go.